Page County is known for tourism. There's the Shenandoah River, the Skyline Drive. We're seeing a lot more people in this area that are struggling. Not only just the pandemic, but just life in general. A lot of the businesses have closed. There's not a lot of industry here. I'm Kim Burton. I'm the Attendance and Enrollment Specialist with Page County Public Schools, and I'm also a porch visitor. I started with the porch visits program a little over a year ago. I generally see, on average, about three, sometimes four families each day after I get off work. Being the attendance or truancy officer is not always the nicest of positions to hold, so this is my feel-good job. Today we're going to visit Tanza. She's a grandmother raising three of her grandchildren. I've been seeing them for over a year now. I go out usually once a week. I'm Tanza McCoy and I'm raising three of my grandkids. Their mom and dad wasn't doing the right things like they should have, and so I filed for custody for them. And I was just trying to do what was right for the kids. And then they all left me in the hole, a $1,200 light bill, no gas, phone ready to be cut off, cable was cut off, and I just get a SSI check. I heard about the porch visits through the kids' school. On Tuesdays, Kim comes by. I can't wait for her to come because I can talk to her. When I first started coming to meet with Tanza, it was generally just to talk to her about the food program. And then the more I talked to her, the more I realized that, you know, with the kids being home through the pandemic, that there were a lot of other resources that they would need. And we determined that Wi-Fi was something that they couldn't afford. One of the kids didn't have Medicaid, so we started doing the research to figure out why they didn't have Medicaid. I helped her get the paperwork that she needed. She just advises me. And it's good about the food and stuff too, because that does help a whole lot. But then it, it's helped me in my situation, having Kim to talk to me. When you don't know about the programs or grants or, and stuff that's out there, when you got somebody telling you that they're there to help you, it, it, it makes a world of difference. Tanza and I are very much a team. Uh, we talk about the kids, we talk about their schoolwork. She helped me get gas one time. I didn't have enough money to get gas. And then, uh, like, having me sign up for the TANF program, or I wouldn't be able to get the paperwork done. So when I first started um, doing porch visits with Tanza, it was a little more formal, but now it's just like I'm a visitor that just comes every week and hangs out for a while. Well, I don't know what I've done. It wouldn't have been for her helping and talking to me and stuff. I don't. Yeah, it's made a difference, I can tell you that. I ain't stressed like I was. She's like a sister. I've always been a, a kid person. I've always just drawn to kids, and these families have become part of my family, part of who I am. I think about them, I get texts from them, I get pictures when the kids dress up for Halloween, I get invited, I get ball schedules. It shows that somebody cares about you, and cares about the kids, and uh, tries to, to make sure that you got what you need, not just on Tuesday, but all the time. 